I remember that uh, I had come to Montreal. Uh, I was, of course, very young, energetic, uh, just had uh, a lot of ideas and things that I wanted to do. I, w I would call it uh, a really fortunate coming together of a variety of forces that, uh, that made some wonderful things. Certainly for me, some very wonderful things happened. And even before getting there, I had made a number of requests because I wanted a group that I can work with, that I could work with when I, when I got there. Uh, I don't remember the exact details, but that request, that search led to my becoming a part of the BTW. Shortly after then, I proposed my play. I'd done a number of small pieces with the group and I put up my play for better, for worse, for, uh, for consideration to be put on. And also, uh, it, it was accepted and I ended up uh, directing the piece. And I think that it was, uh, again, uh, a, a sort of very interesting time. The Black Theatre Workshop at that time was still very much uh, a sort of community group that met occasionally to put on plays. Uh, there was certainly a lot of interest in theatre and in learning more and doing more things with the theatre. But I think that my recollection is that it was a little surprising when I went into the rehearsal asking for the date of the production to be named even before the start of the production, the start, the start of rehearsal. So it, it was, I think, a slightly different approach. And because I had worked with the group by that time for a little while, I sort of understood things and how the group functioned. Uh, it was typical of a lot of uh, groups, community groups at that time, you'll come to rehearsal. Uh, most people would arrive at rehearsals late. That's still a chronic problem throughout the Caribbean to date. Hope that that has changed for the Black Theatre Workshop. Uh, so you got there late and then you would sit around talking for another 15, 20 minutes. Then you began to rehearse and by the time you started to get into stride and get ready and warmed up, it was time to close uh, rehearsals down. With the production of For Better, For Worse, uh, I wanted to be just a whole lot more structured in the way rehearsals happened, in the way things moved forward. I think Clarence Bain, who was one of the key people, remains one of the key people, and certainly one of my major influences and people that I work with when I was there, he was the president of the group at the time. And when he learned that I had in fact done the rough blocking, that it was all in place, and this is maybe the second week of rehearsal, I remember him being just very surprised about that, uh, but it, it helped me. Uh, it was my way of dealing with the situation uh, that, that things are happening, that people are aware that things are happening. And once one person showed up for rehearsal, I would start. I would do something, whether it's just reading or exercising or anything like that. And the play, the play went on. It was put on in uh, the summer or uh, late spring probably of 1974 and uh, it had great response. It may have created uh, a lot of interest in the work and in the Black Theatre Workshop and I think the interest was not just among the public but Canada Council and funding organizations uh, began to take a, a look at the group and we were able to go on from there to do a whole lot of, uh, of other wonderful things. As I said, it was, it was in so many ways just a conversion of <laughs> forces, of situations that worked really well. The, the Montreal experience and in particular the Black Theatre Workshop experience was uh, in so many ways just totally incredible. I mean, I don't think many students can ever say that they were presented, that they had such an opportunity, that they recognized such a convergence of circumstances that made it possible to have four plays produced, 
to write three completely new plays, the, the writing, the directing, the participating in the management. Uh, it was wonderfully good stuff uh, and stuff that, as I have said, have served me for an entire lifetime. I mean, up to date, I still draw from the well and still continue to benefit from, from the work that I did and the association with the Black Theatre Workshop.